What movie would you recommend for a date? What movie would you recommend for a date? I don't usually watch sci-fi movies. I'm more into thrillers. I don't usually watch sci-fi movies. I'm more into thrillers. The Godfather trilogy is considered a classic. The Godfather trilogy is considered a classic. Blue Planet is an award-winning documentary made by the BBC. Blue Planet is an award-winning documentary made by the BBC. You should check out The Irishman on Netflix. I heard it's good. You should check out The Irishman on Netflix. I heard it's good. The best movie sequel ever made is Terminator 2: Judgment Day. The best movie sequel ever made is Terminator 2: Judgment Day. If you like racing movies, why don't you check out Ford vs Ferrari? If you like racing movies, why don't you check out Ford vs Ferrari? I so want to see Christopher Nolan's upcoming film Tenet. I so want to see Christopher Nolan's upcoming film Tenet. I hear the dialogue in Marriage Story is so powerful and real. I hear the dialogue in Marriage Story is so powerful and real. I wasn't quite sure what the storyline of the movie was. I wasn't quite sure what the storyline of the movie was. Joker is a critically acclaimed film. Joker is a critically acclaimed film. I heard Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was a real bore. I heard Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was a real bore. I know you don't like horror movies, so I wouldn't recommend It Chapter Two. I know you don't like horror movies, so I wouldn't recommend It Chapter Two. The Matrix, starring Keanu Reeves, had groundbreaking visual effects for its day. The Matrix, starring Keanu Reeves, had groundbreaking visual effects for its day. Toy Story is one of the most beloved family-friendly movies of all time. Toy Story is one of the most beloved family-friendly movies of all time. I'm really into sci-fi films. I'm really into sci-fi films. Popular novels adapted into film or TV series are usually quite disappointing. Popular novels adapted into film or TV series are usually quite disappointing. They put a lot of thought into this movie. They put a lot of thought into this movie. Joaquin Phoenix completely nailed the role of the Joker. Joaquin Phoenix. Completely nailed the role of the Joker. I felt the pace of the movie was too slow. I felt the pace of the movie was too slow. You want to catch a flick tonight? You want to catch a flick tonight? The cinematography in the film was stunning. The cinematography in the film was stunning. In my opinion. The movie was thoroughly entertaining. In my opinion, the movie was thoroughly entertaining. Since you liked 1917, I'd recommend Saving Private Ryan. Since you liked 1917, I'd recommend Saving Private Ryan. If you liked Inception, I think you'd really like Memento. If you liked Inception. I think you'd really like Memento. There are theories floating on the internet that Snowpiercer could be the sequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. There are theories floating on the internet that Snowpiercer could be the sequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Taken was surprisingly a good action film. Taken was surprisingly a good action film. Battlefield Earth is considered by many to be the worst film of all time. Battlefield Earth is considered by many 
to be the worst film of all time. An Inconvenient Truth is an award-winning documentary about climate change. An Inconvenient Truth is an award-winning documentary about climate change. The Incredibles is no doubt my favorite computer animated movie. The Incredibles is no doubt my favorite computer animated movie. What kind of film is it? What kind of film is it? The movie was based from a book. The movie was based from a book. The movie is set in the near distant future of 2050. The movie is set in the near distant future of 2050. Parasite is a thought-provoking film about class warfare and income inequality. Parasite is a thought-provoking film about class warfare and income inequality. I fell asleep during the movie because it was so boring and predictable. I fell asleep during the movie because it was so boring and predictable. The ending of the movie was completely ruined by an implausible scenario. The ending of the movie was completely ruined by an implausible scenario. No doubt this movie was the feel good movie of the year. No doubt this movie was the feel good movie of the year. The movie is R rated, so it's not for children to watch. The movie is R rated, so it's not for children to watch. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. I found the movie to be utterly hilarious. I found the movie to be utterly hilarious. A lot of critics had praised The Last Jedi, but in stark contrast, most viewers hated it. A lot of critics had praised The Last Jedi, but in stark contrast, most viewers hated it. To be honest, I like the original movie rather than the remake. To be honest, I like the original movie rather than the remake. All the actors in the movie gave exceptional performances. All the actors in the movie gave exceptional performances. The Terminator movie franchise seems to be on its last legs. The Terminator movie franchise seems to be on its last legs. The interlocking stories and unexpected plot twist made it one of the best movies of the year. The interlocking stories and unexpected plot twists made it one of the best movies of the year. One of the most powerful moments in the film Marriage Story was the fight between Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson. One of the most powerful moments in the film Marriage Story was the fight between Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson. The music of The Dark Knight evoked the feeling and character of the Joker. The music of The Dark Knight evoked the feeling and character of the Joker. On a scale from 0 to 10, I give this film a 7. On a scale from 0 to 10, I give this film a 7. If you loved films like E.T., then be sure to check out the Stranger Things series on Netflix. It has the same 80s vibes. If you loved films like E.T., then be sure to check out the Stranger Things series on Netflix. It has the same 80s vibes. All in all, this is a must-see film of 2020. All in all, this is a must-see film of 2020. Frozen is a wonderful family-friendly movie. Frozen is a wonderful family-friendly movie. The writing was fantastic and the dialogue was smart and edgy. The writing was fantastic and the dialogue was smart and edgy. I would definitely recommend a second viewing. I would definitely recommend a second viewing. There were so many secret Easter eggs in the movie. There were so many secret Easter eggs in the movie. 
500 Days of Summer is an enjoyable rom-com movie made back in 2009, starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt. 500 Days of Summer is an enjoyable rom-com movie made back in 2009, starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt. What were your thoughts about the movie? What were your thoughts about the movie? Even though it was a very fast-paced movie, the storyline wasn't confusing. Even though it was a very fast-paced movie, the storyline wasn't confusing. The original Blade Runner, directed by Ridley Scott, is considered one of the best sci-fi movies of all time. The original Blade Runner, directed by Ridley Scott, is considered one of the best sci-fi movies of all time. Memento is a psychological thriller movie written and directed by Christopher Nolan. The movie uses a complex plot timeline. Memento is a psychological thriller movie written and directed by Christopher Nolan. The movie uses a complex plot timeline. According to Rotten Tomatoes, Citizen Kane is considered one of the best movies of all time. According to Rotten Tomatoes, Citizen Kane is considered one of the best movies of all time.